We can't even spell bothered properly. Being bad at spelling is not a good reason to split up with somebody. That's not why I did it, is it? God, I'm only joking. What should I do? Just ignore it or tell him I'm busy? Or is that just playing games? I don't know. You still like him, don't you? Yeah. I know I shouldn't, but I do. Well, it's not going to hurt to text him then, is it? At least find out what he's got to say. How did you get Dad house trained? Relatively. Uh, a lot of hard graft on my part. Don't you take another step. I'm surprised you don't start hosing me down in the yard. Well, you've had worse ideas. It's popped in for a tea. Do some way. I'm hand getting ready if you like. I haven't said I'm going yet. You can wear something of mine. I've got that black jacket. Mm, maybe. Good to see the truce is holding her. Yeah, for the time being. Oh, uh, Isaac wants to meet up with Hannah. Does he now? Yeah, to talk about their relationship. I won't mind a word with him myself. I had half an idea that Holly could go with her. You know, a bit of moral support. I don't know about that. Well, she's only going to the cafe, and we can give them a curfew. John, we're going to have to let her out sometime. It'll do her some good. It's not as if she's running into town or anything. You know that she's going to go crazy if we keep her cooped up in here for much longer. Oh, we will. It's 50-50 who cracks first, isn't it? Just ignore her. It's the parents I feel sorry for. I mean, I know your journey's a bit off the wall, but at least you know she's safe. One pound forty, please. Well, this is cosy. Don't mind me. Let's see if the bacon sign is. I'll give you two some space. Here, love, let me do it for you. <laughs> Don't want you scolding yourself. Oh, you sure I can't tempt you away from me? There's nothing I couldn't do with a woman like you by my side. <laughs> I'm really sorry I haven't been around. I mean, I've got your messages, it's just up in Oh, don't be silly, you don't have to explain to me. Come sit down. Have you been in this morning? How is he? He's OK. Well, he's alive. That's all that really matters. Though. You should have phoned me. I'd have come straight back. There's no need. There's nothing you could do. Unless you've developed superhuman powers you haven't told me about. I cannot believe you've been through all this on your own. I take it Jerry was useless. Well, the words chocolate and fire guard spring to mind, but I think it have been really good. Well, I hope Bob's looked after you. Oh, he's been running around all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, he's been brilliant. Look, Han, I know I've been an idiot. Yeah, you have. But I just want things to be right between us. I mean, come on, it wasn't that bad, was it? What? Well, me and you, only... Only I thought it was... it was all right, it was quite nice. And I was hoping maybe we could do it again. Can we so, do this another time? Yes. Yeah. I'll call you, OK? Yeah, call me. stuff you know nothing about. I'm supposed to be looking after you. How are you supposed to do that? You're just a kid. I'm old enough to know when someone's buying drugs off some chav in the street. I don't have to listen to this. I'm telling Mum and Dad and I am not lying. Get off! Sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Just leave it. Leave me alone. I knew this would happen. You're not going to answer that. It's your mother. She's already rung three times. I don't know why she can't leave a message like the rest of the world. Well, she'll have SWAT team scrambled if we Oi, ignore it. Leave it. How often do we get a chance to be on our own at the moment? Mm. Before you listen to me, you should 
she knows she's talking absolute rubbish. She's been buying drugs off some bloke in her car. He was a mate, OK? I am still allowed to have them, aren't I? Right, get up. Get up and empty your pockets, now. So who is he, then? Your mate. It's a kid from college. He's a right geek. Probably love him if you met him. Satisfied? I'm telling you, you've got it wrong. Get up to your room. But I haven't done anything. <laughs> you should have seen him, Mum. It was so obvious what they were doing. You weren't supposed to let her out of her sight. It's not her fault, is it? No, I know. I'm sorry, love. She might have chucked them on the way home. Right, come on. Come with me. Just because we didn't find anything doesn't mean she hadn't chucked it. Well, we'll never know for sure, will we? I didn't just make it up, though. No one's saying you did, sweetheart. Why would I do something like that? Anyway, how did it go with Isaac? Did you manage to sort things out? Too busy worrying about Holly, as per usual. Didn't have time to deal with my own life. He sent me a text, reckons it's over. Doesn't want to play second fiddle to my family. Listen to me, honey. If he doesn't understand the pecking order, he's not going to last long, is he? I don't know. Maybe he was just using it as an excuse. Hannah, I know you're hurting now, but you'll get over him. Trust me, there are plenty more fish in the sea. And if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Mm -hmm.